Hello, it's a quick video on the testing of the moisture content of your soya beans. With a lot of growers asking us, how do we know when they're about the 14% mark? So, first thing you do is if we have a quick look at our sample. If you have a quick look, this is a sample which is about the 14% mark. It might even be slightly drier than 14. And if you have a look, obviously they're no longer that kidney shape that the wet bean is, they're round, so they shrink down to that shape. If you have a quick look, if we bite this, you'll see, so it's quite, well, it's not soft, soft, but it's got the consistency of a sort of hard, firm toffee. Um, they don't go rock hard like, you know, um, like peas or beans would. A pea or a bean at 14, 15% moisture would be rock hard. If we take the scissors here, another demonstration, you can see they actually cut quite readily. And that is a bean which is about the 14% mark. The reason for that is because they're 20% oil. So if you think 20% oil plus 14% moisture, that's 34% liquid. So they never go rock hard unless they're extremely dry. Quick moisture test. Well, you'll notice in our bulletins we have scales for both cyanide and also for proteometer. Obviously this is a protometer. Uh, and we'll just do a quick test for a, a demonstration. Um, protometer, you need to do a, a ground sample. Um, now, the protometer comes with its own built-in grinder. I would not recommend using that for soya because it's okay for wheat and stuff, but if you put soya in there, it gums it up horribly with oil residue and you'll end up spending ages cleaning this out. It's a horrible job. So your best plan, in fact, is get yourself a separate coffee grinder. Um, we've discovered over the years that the best one to get is the James Martin one. It's a quick plug for the James Martin coffee grinder. If you buy the Braun one, uh, the blades break on them and you'll go through them 10 to the dozen. These last quite well. So, um, Basically, small sample of the soybeans into the grinder. Into the grinder. That's your ground soya, ready to go into the test cell. Probably got lots of emails from people telling me I'm doing it wrong. Protometer will probably let us know we're doing it wrong, but never mind. Put it in here. Now we've got this set on the 0 to 100 scale. If we press the button, it gives us a reading 50.2. If we look on here, that would give us a reading of 14.3. It's actually worth doing it again because the sample can be quite hot after grinding and it usually comes down and stabilizes. Yeah, so there we go. It's 48. Check it again. It's bang on 14 basically. So this is a sample of soya. It's exactly at the market standard moisture content of 14%. It 
You've seen how the you see the colour, you see the shape, you see the consistency. And that's how you know if the 14%. Thank you.